Aloha, this is Aaron from Hawaii Music Supply. Today we're going to go over a lesson that I think we may have covered before. Um, it seems to have gotten lost in the abyss that is the internet. You know, sometimes we have to redo some things and, you know, I'm a little bit older, a little bit uglier. And we're going to go ahead and try this out one more time. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Uh, everybody asks about what, what song should you learn first, right? This is a real easy one, you know, you start... But not everybody wants to play that, right? Some of us want to make it sound a little bit crisper, a little bit more jazzy. And that's kind of what we're going for today. This is how it sounds. We're going to run through it one time and then I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay? Okay, so something like that. And uh, we're going to make it real easy. So this is in the key of F. Uh, you know what? Don't even, don't even worry about that. Let's look at the chords. Okay, so the fingering is real simple. I'm making an F shape, which is the first finger on the uh, second string first fret. Your second finger is going to be on the, the second fret of the fourth string. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these three fingers and we're going to pick second string and fourth string at the same time. Now I'm going to pick the third string, open. Okay, so. Now what I'm going to do is put my finger, my pinky finger, on the fourth fret of the third string. So. Then I'm going to play the second string again with my finger holding down the first fret. So it comes out like that. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is this is now an F major 7 when we put this down, right? I'm going to add my ring finger to the third fret of the first string and I'm going to it's not really a strum, it's kind of like plucking off four in like that like 1 2 3 4. Okay, so we're going yeah, Sorry. Okay. And so once we do that, we go We've got all four going, so I'm going to hit that, and I'm going to go three, two, one. Okay, so all together. Okay, so now the next shape we're going to do is going to be like this. Okay, so I'm going to take third fret of the fourth string with my first finger. Third finger is going to be on the fifth fret of the third string. My second finger is going to be on the second string, third fret, and my pinky is going to be on the fifth fret of the first string. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this like this. Okay? Same way we did the last chord. So I'm going all four, and then I hit the third string. Okay, so. So now here's the cool part, because what we're going to do is like, I've heard it called a crescendo, I guess, because we're kind of doing that thing there. I'm sliding these two fingers up while I'm rolling my fingers this way. Okay, so it's kind of like a... So see how that works. You're going to get these two fingers that are on the third fret, and they're sliding up like that. One fret, yeah? And the same time that's happening, I'm rolling that. So it's going to go. Okay. And so once I do that, I'm going to hit the second string again. So sounds like this. Okay. Or actually, I did that backwards. It's... 
And so this chord right here, we're again doing the roll thing with this hand, and it's gonna be second fret <coughs> on the fourth string, fourth fret of the third string, and then your second finger is covering the bottom two strings of the third fret. And so the picking pattern for here is. Okay, so we're doing the roll, and then three, two, three. Okay, so. Now the same shape I'm gonna take down here. Okay, so I'm moving the whole thing down two frets, and by doing that, that takes my first finger out of the equation, right? So you might see me do this. I, I might change fingers, but you don't have to. You can just do like that. Slide it down, okay? So the first fret, holding the two, and then you got your third finger, or you can use your second, however you want to do it, on the second fret of the third string. Same pattern. Roll, two, three, or three, two, three. Okay, so what we have so far is okay so that's where we are now we're gonna go to that F shape right so that's first finger gonna be on the second string first fret and then the second finger is gonna be all the way on top second fret yeah and that's pattern that we used before, right? We went, we hit these two outside, and this one, yeah? So, first, second, and fourth. Then we hit the open, uh, open third string. Then we put our pinky down, the fourth fret, and then pick the second string, yeah? So. Now we're going to a new shape over here, so. So what this is, is first finger, third fret, fourth string, second finger, third fret of the second string, and third finger is going to be on the fourth fret of the third string. All right, that's it. Yeah. So. Okay, and so all I'm picking is those three that I'm holding, and I'm doing that roll thing again, and I'm going to go two, three, or sorry, three, two, three, right? And then we go back to the F chord and we're just rolling it open. Okay, so what we have so far. So that's, we're going to call that part one, okay? So that, all of that is part one. Part two is going to start here. We're going to do that F shape again. We're going to add the third fret of the first string. And so we're going to go. So what that is, is our pinky, or I use my pinky sometimes, sometimes I use the ring. Depends on, I guess, what, what I'm doing, <laughs> it's one of the two, right? It doesn't matter which finger you use, use any one you want. But we're picking these three strings, right? One, two, and four. And we're alternating that with three. So we're going, right? So three strings, one string, three strings, one string. Okay, so we're gonna hold that chord and go two times. Now we're gonna go back to our friend over here, the one that looked like that and slid down. I'm using these fingers now, so both on the first fret, right? First two strings, first finger. Second finger is gonna be over here on the second fret of the third string, and same picking pattern. Okay, going back to the F, and we're gonna do that same thing we did before. Okay, so you guys caught that one, right? What that is is those three, Open on the third string, fourth fret, second string. Okay, and then back to that one. Okay, and we're gonna do that twice. So it sounds like this, yeah?
Okay, so that's part two. What we're gonna do after that is we're going right back to part one. Okay, play that whole thing again up to that point. When we get to here, instead of going, we're gonna hit these notes, right? That roll, the three strings. We're gonna come back, catch the third string, okay? And the pinky is gonna be on the fifth fret. And then we're gonna slide up, right? To the seventh fret, and now we're going to the eighth fret. And we're gonna hold two on eight, and two on nine. Okay? So what we have is. And you guys can take it as slow as you want or as fast as you want. The cool thing about a song like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is that it's it's an old classic. It's a standard. Little kids love it. And it, it's a beautiful melody. And what you want to do with it is you can play it, you know. Right? Or we can. Give it, you know, that slow jazz kind of. This is a good place to practice your dynamics. So use hard, soft, push, pull, however you want. Let the pace go slow and then fast and slow. Whatever you want to do. It's This is where you can use your musical creativity. And just kind of have fun with it. Uh, we have the tabs available for you in case uh, you missed anything. And, you know, if you guys got any questions or whatever, give us a call. Right on. Aloha. If I had a thousand bucks, you know what I'd buy? Huh. A koolau. <laughs> <laughs> what you don't need.